I'd like to be able to introduce Sue Berry. Sue, it's great to be able to have you here with us this morning and, and uh, tell us a little bit about your history with the, with the Pioneer Village. Well, it's great to be back. I have a personal connection to the Pioneer Village in that in 2019, uh, we, I was involved with Ross in the Jones Cabin, I call it the Jones Cabin, the smaller cabin that here is here at Pioneer Village being moved to the park and we dedicated it uh, in 2019 and the original builder of it, James Jones and his son Jesse, uh, were part of my family. Uh, James was my third great grandfather and was a Revolutionary War veteran. So I feel a personal connection here to the village. <laughs> Absolutely. So, so it, it's always great to be able to have your assistance with regards to uh, our events within the Davis County Parks and especially here in the in the Pioneer Village. And so let's talk a little bit about what's going on in December. Great. It's, uh, <laughs> this is something that uh, Jim's family, Jim Lambert's family, has wanted. Uh, to be held for some time. Mm -hmm. uh, Judy has been involved with this along with uh, her family. And uh, so we're happy to say, I think we have an event that we're gonna be proud of and everybody should come out and visit. Uh, on December the 3rd, we're gonna begin with Santa Claus here in the village mm -hmm. at eight o'clock from eight to 10. Santa will uh, be having breakfast with the children. So bring your children out, families, uh, come and see Santa and the Daughters of the American Revolution, General Evan Shelby chapter will be doing uh, breakfast for Santa, ham and biscuits and drinks. And uh, so that will begin our day. Now we have a huge lineup <laughs> yes. of artisans and demonstrations. Um, all day long so if you can't come at the beginning feel free to drop in leave our activities will go from 8 in the morning till 6 30 in the evening we're going to have quilting all types of early needle art like embroidery tatting red work we have uh, food preservation jams jellies we have someone that does honey we have basket making uh, we have old time music mm -hmm. with dulcimers ukuleles wash tubs uh, those are the shade tree players from over in the Newburgh uh, Indiana area will be joining us we have uh, American Mountain Men we have two that will be coming with a frontier display and we'll be uh, demonstrating hatchet throwing which you can <laughs> try your hand at that also, if you're 12 and over with a parent's permission. Uh, so that will be very, very interesting. We have soap making, we have butter making, uh, we have, um what am I leaving out? Blacksmithing. Blacksmithing, of That's course. That's right. Martin Malay from Whitesville will be in the barn demonstrating his crafts, which Martin is a fantastic guy and does fantastic work. So come out and meet some new friends, old and new, <laughs> and uh, hear their stories and, um, just enjoy the day because it is going to be a, a fun packed event now also i didn't mention a lot of the artisans will be selling wares mm -hmm. uh, some of their crafts so there will be opportunities if you need to pick up a christmas present also we will have some photo opportunities which i yep. think are really really neat uh, i failed to mention we're going to have the kentucky wheelman high wheel bicycles uh, here at the park uh, if you have not seen these people they are wonderful they are will be dressed in period costumes from around the 1890s uh, they will have the high wheel bicycles which yes that's the large wheel bicycles <laughs> with the little wheel and uh, there will be opportunity for photo ops with the high wheel bicycle and then also an original Owensboro wagon. That's right. So if you need a photo opportunity for your Christmas cards, this will be the perfect place to get it.